how to play Bartoszka on six instead of eight strings. Let's take a look. So this would probably be impossible to keep under six minutes, but what the hell. Before you wonder if guitar lessons will be a regular thing now on my channel, no, they're not. But if you're looking to learn how to play the songs I cover, go check out my Patreon page where I upload guitar and bass tutorials to all the songs, among so much more other content like behind the scenes footage, making offs, monthly live streams, and much more to only name a few. But okay, let's take a look at how to play this song. Since there are two guitars in it, I have a little help here by Mr. Clone number six, is it? Seven, actually, like the number of strings on this guitar. Okay, that's easy to remember. Uh, so let's go over all the riffs in chronological order. Here's an overview of the song structure, at least how I like to call all the parts. Hey, that's the exact same structure as how I learned the song. <laughs> you don't say. What a coincidence. This video is also divided into different chapters uh, for all the different riffs so that it's easier for you to skip around in case you want to go back to a certain riff. All right, as you see, I'm here with my six string PRS SE277 semi hollow, which is a baritone guitar, so it's usually tuned to B standard. But for this song, I tuned it down to F sharp, so basically the lowest six strings of an eight string guitar. To keep it simple, I'll be referring to all the strings as though it would be a regular six string guitar tuned to E. I hope this makes sense. Yeah, and I have here an Ibanez RG IXL 7 string, which is not mine, but was lent to me by my good friend Alex specifically for recording this song. Thank you very much, Alex, since I don't own any seven string guitars anymore. And this is also a baritone, so it's a little easier to tune this down to F sharp too. So yeah, basically this one is tuned to the lowest seven strings of an eight string guitar. And to make things unnecessarily complicated, I'll be also referring to all the strings as though it would be a six string guitar tuned to standard E, even though it's seven strings. Okay, let's start with the intro. My part here is quite simple. You start on the 12th fret on the G string and you only have the 12th and the 15th. And you start, of course, with the clean sound and play the same thing again with the distorted sound. So here we go. So very simple, and then you go to the bridge part, which is clean again. Yeah, so my intro part begins right after the clean part, uh, and it's half power chords on the A and E string on the third fret, uh, and you also play the sixth fret on the A string. And the first time you play the power chord on the E string, you palm mute it, so it goes like this. Okay, let's play the intro riff together and I go right into the bridge riff and explain afterwards what I play there. Okay, so the notes of the bridge riff are 777 seven, seven on the E, B and G string. Then you have 10 on the D string. You also have 8 on the D string and also 8 on the G string and 9 and 10 on the B string. So slowly all together it's played like this.
And then you go down to the third fret on the E string for the chorus riff, which goes like this. So what I play on the chorus part is slightly different than on the album, but yeah, I took the liberty to change it a little bit. Um, but yeah, let me play it once and then explain what exactly I'm playing here. So first I do a half power chord on the 10th fret on the A string, so 10 and 12. Then I go up to 13 and 15, so doing this octave power chord thing. Then I go down one fret, 12 and 14. And then I move up my index finger to the 12th fret on the uh, D string. Um, so that's a half power chord again. Then back to the first half power chord on the, on the 10th fret. And then I do this reverse thing, so it's uh, 12 on the A string and 10 on the D string. And then I go up, 13 and 12. And then I repeat everything again. And the ending leading into the verse riff is uh, going from that octave power chord, the 13 and 15, into 13, 13, 12. So A, D, and G string, 13, 13, 12. Okay, let's play the chorus riff together and I just start with the bridge part. So the verse riff is a half power chord, as I like to call them. Uh, it's two strings. You start on the fifth fret on the A string and you have the seventh fret and the shape stays the same. So you have five, six, eight and ten. And then it goes like this. And maybe you've wondered uh, before in my videos, I like to play these power chords with the pinky instead of the ring finger, but you do you and uh, there's no right or wrong way as long as it sounds correct. So the verse riff is switching between two chords. The first one is 12, 12, 14 on A, D and G string. And the second one is 13, 13, 12. So this and this. And uh, after that, you, s you slide from that uh, 13, 13, 12 to 15 and 17. Uh, so 15, 15, 14 and 17, 17, 15. So it goes like this. Okay, now there comes the pre-chorus riff and I think you can explain that one better because you have that variation in there. Right, so the pre-chorus riff is the same for both guitars with the variation on my guitar, which is only one note different in the second repetition. So um, let me play it once how the actual riff goes. So 
so and that gets repeated uh, and as I said with a one variation so it's on the A string three five and six on the D string five and then the variation is that then instead of the fifth fret you go to the eighth fret on the D string and then the ending of the riff leading into the chorus riff is five on the A string three five on the D string and eight seven on the D string so let me play it once with my variation. So after that you go into the chorus riff, uh, which is the same as before, so no changes here. Uh, then you go into the verse 2 reverse, as I call it, because you switch around the first two chords. So in my case, instead of starting on the 5th fret and going to the 6th, you start on the 6th and go to the 5th. Same thing with you. Yeah, just the same, you just switch around the first two chords. So it's 13, 13, 12, and then you go to the 12, 12, 14. And the rest stays the same. And so on. So the next part, the melody riff as I call it, uh, so I don't play any melodies, that's his part. Uh, so I play a full power chord, so on the 10th fret, 10, 12, 12, on the A string, D and G of course, uh, and then you have these uh, octave, half power chords, whatever you want to call it. So uh, you play 8 on the D string and 10 on the B string and then you go up to 12 and 14 same strings. So this goes like this. <laughs> And then you play the same shape from 5th fret on the A string uh, and 3 and 7 on the D string. So... So you repeat that a couple of times and then instead of going down to the 5th fret, you go to the 8th fret and have this stop and then do this octave power chord uh, on the 7 and 10. And then go to the calm part. Right, so let me play once this melody thing. It starts with the power chord, so you have two power chords in there, um, and it goes like this. <laughs> then repeats itself again. So it is the first power chord is on the G string 12, 12 and 10 on the A string. Uh, then you have 15, 14, 12 on the uh, G, no, on the, yeah, on the G string, sorry, ah, I get confused myself here. Um, and then you have that power chord on the B string, 14, 14 and 12 on the D string. So it is so the last note is here on the 14th fret on the G string and you hold that until that part is over and then you repeat the same thing twice and then you go down into that calm part which is the next one okay together
then there comes the count part. Uh, it's pretty simple, I guess. It's three on the E string, one also later, and six. And then you have on the A string, five, and you end the riff on the 10th fret on the A string. So uh, yeah, basically it goes like this. Okay, forgot to mention the fifth thread on the E string as well. So the calm part for me is playing a reverse power chord on the fifth and third fret on the D and G string. Um, then you go to play a half power chord on the fifth and seventh fret on the A and D string. Then back to that half reverse power chord, whatever the names, you know. So then we go up with this reverse power chord. Let's just stick with this name. 5-3, uh, then you go 7-5, 7 and 10-8. Then you go back down to 8 and 7. Then you stick with the 7 on the G string and play this octave uh, power chord. So you add the 5th on the A string. And the last note or the last chord is just moving the index finger up one string. So it's seven, uh, five and seven on the D and G string. Uh, let me play that uh, all together. back to the chorus again. Okay. So as you saw, you go then into the chorus riff, and after that, the last part is the melody end riff, as I call it. Uh, I play on the middle two strings, so D and G on the 12th fret, both uh, strings, then uh, 12 and 10, then 13 and 12, and then you have uh, G and B string, 12 and 15, and then you again go down to the 12 on both uh, G and D string, then you have 12 and 15 on on uh, D and G, and then you have this stretchy chord which goes from 10 to 14 on on uh, D and G string. So it goes like this. those last two chords are the same that you play in the intro uh, thing um, and then the song is over. Yeah, so the melody end riff. Um, let's go first over the melody and then that end part. So the melody is more or less the same as before. Uh, let me play that uh, once for you.
and that's the end part but let's stick first to the melody thing uh, which is basically the same notes as before just rearranged in a slightly different order um, and you have this one slightly reverse power chord thing so let me play the notes very slowly so you get an idea what to play here Okay, and so that very last part is sliding these octave power chords uh, on the A string from 10 to 13, then you have 8 and 10, and then you have 17 and 15. So that part goes like this. So those were all the riffs. Again, that's the way I or we play that song. It's not a hundred percent like on the album, but that's what we like to do in our interpretation of songs. Exactly. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to check out our Patreon page right here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>